Well, hello there, guys. Chuckity Chuck again. He's back. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. But today, it's not Call of Duty. Oh, no. It's not FIFA. No. It's the Mass Effect multiplayer demo. Boom, boom. I thought I'd uh, show you this, guys, because uh, I'm sure some of you are interested in Mass Effect. It's, uh, I played the first two. Um, it's quite funny. The first one I got, I got it pre-owned, and I didn't enjoy it at all, to be honest. I um, it took me. Oh, I played through the first two missions, maybe three, and I put it down. I didn't come back to it for about six or seven months. That's how Mass Effect 2 was about to come out. I thought I'd give it another go. And I couldn't get enough of it. Once I gave it another try, got past but I was stuck on. And I've loved uh, the Mass Effect series ever since. But yeah, really looking forward to um, this the third one coming out. And by the looks of things, it looks as if Cerberus may be an enemy. Because when we were setting up the game for this one, it said enemy, you know, Cerberus. So be interesting to see where they go with that. But. Yeah, the multiplayer itself, it reminds me very much of Gears of War 2 and 3, the Horde mode. Because, um, use five waves, like you do in Gears of War. But, and, and you roll, as you see there, beautiful rolls. But at the same time, they ask you to do challenges throughout the waves. Um, and you see, I'm doing an upload. Um, they do put, put the up, upload laptops in the most awkward places. Why they wouldn't be inside? I mean, someone walked out onto a balcony, I guess, took it with them, shot in the back, and now I've got to retrieve it. Fucking assholes. I chose, personally, for this uh, multiplayer demo to be a soldier. Um, that's ho how I played the first two Mass Effects, purely because I just like shooting, really. I'm not a big fan of messing about with the uh, Bartics or turrets or anything like that so I just stuck with the simple soldier that can use any type of gun. I think this game was actually my fourth or fifth go at this. We do actually manage to finish the level and I put that in just so you can see what it's like. It's, it's quite a neat way how they end it to be honest. But yeah, overall impression of the Mass Effect 3 multiplayer demo is is pretty good. I thought when I first heard about multiplayer for Mass Effect, oh no, it's going to take away time from the development of the game. It's going to, you know, affect the actual story of the game. And it's going to be your traditional TDM and capture the flag. But I actually really like this multiplayer. If this is all they've got, I'm not sure if they're adding anything else. I do, I am a bit of a fan. The weapons themselves, they don't seem to be too overpowered. Some of the enemies, like you'll see in a minute, they've got an atlas on you. I think there was about three we had to kill. But the enemies, they're not too overpowered. Um, there's one en enemy called the Phantom, I think it's called. And it's got like three layers of health and some weird samurai sword shit. And it's, they're quite hard to kill, but the rest of them, really shouldn't have too much of a problem. Throughout the map you can see there's those little ammo stations and they don't ever run out so it's always a good idea to run towards one of them when you run out of ammo. Or maybe if you've like, like if you're a soldier like I was um, and you've got grenades it's quite easy to take out multiple enemies with grenades so base yourself near oh god and I'm dying. As you can see Kind of like gears, you tap A, you stay alive for longer. To revive people, you just stand over and hold A, and um, you wait for the ring to go all the way around and you revive them. Quite a nice function. There's there's a lot of uh, tactics involved in this game. I didn't think there would be. Um, at the end, I've got a, me opening a pack, and you get medi jars in. And you've got to really communicate with your team when you're going to use a medijar. Can you get to me? Should I revive myself? And it makes for some good gameplay, really. Well, I'm a big fan of the melee. Oh my god. It's like an orange biotic sword thing. It looks fucking amazing. I literally got a nerdgasm when I saw it. Here we are, coming towards the end of the game. 
So you can see you've got a, once you reach level 11, you go back to the start and wait for the extraction. And there's the fucking big at atlas. Look at it. Oh my god. It, have I'm saying that? You can take it down in one hit with a rocket, but I used mine on the mission we did before this. So, yeah, we had to do it the uh, hard way. Here I am, you know, like I said, getting the grenades, because they do quite a bit of damage towards the Atlas. But I'm not sure if it's a bug or anything, but you can't automatically refill your ammo. Like, straight away, as soon as you throw a grenade, you can't just be standing by the ammo and automatically refill. You've actually got to, I think, go away for a bit, maybe shoot a bit of ammo, and then you'll refill. Playing with two people here, I think it's up to four person co-op, not 100% sure, but I think they're, one's a vanguard, and the other, oh dear, hmm, I'm not 100% sure what the other one was, but, like I said, it's good for, you know, good teamwork is needed to survive, it's not that easy that you can go through it with just anyone and not talk, I don't think. I love the guns on this as well. The assault rifle is probably my favourite weapon. But for a demo, there's a really good variety of weapons, characters, and enemies as well. There's two maps you can play on, I think, with three difficulties. And there we are. Mission successful. Hoorah! Just to show you quickly, I think I open a... Uh, what are they called? Packs or something. A veteran pack. This is how, basically you can get new items from the demo. You, you unlock credits by completing the missions in the waves. Uh, like for the upload one I did earlier I got I think 7,000 credits which is a hell of a lot really because the veteran pack costs 20,000 credits I think. As you can see level 9 there. Woo. Chuck the soldier. I upgrade the frags because they're quite useful. I was like, why can't I upgrade level 4? Oh, what an idiot. I didn't upgrade rank 3. Yeah, here I buy a veteran pack. 20,000 credits. Let's see what I get. 3 medijail. That's, that's very good. Very, very good. SMG again. I didn't like the last SMG I got. Human engineer. Solarian infiltrator. Oh dear. I have to give that one a go, just because uh, I'm always a soldier, so got to mix it up a bit. It's got gold around it, so it must be pretty good. Plus 50,000 class XP. Hmm, worth a try, I reckon. The male human engineer. I won't be using that, I don't think. Oh my god, we're coming towards the end of the video. Uh, please subscribe. Bye.